first people to ghost hunt in in this asylum. That's true. What the hell is that? It's like teeth here. Yeah. Dental x-ray developer. Whoa, camera's getting really blurry all of a sudden on you. There's a part where it's caved in here. <laughs> I've been scratched before, but I've always seen it. <gasps> what? I'm Mo Sargent. That's how we do it. I travel the world to seek out haunted and abandoned places to document the unknown for your entertainment needs. Go, go, go. Careful. From abandoned ghost towns to, right to being locked up in the basement of haunted mansions, those ghosts or spirits would tell her, "Build this, build this." To fighting for my survival on deserted islands, and when I'm not pissing off demons in haunted mental asylums, I'm exploring underwater caves and using giant magnets to find treasures. Ah, we lost the ah! Subscribe to my crazy life to become a part of the adventures. Yo, top, my boy. Live a little. What's up guys, I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another adventure. Today I'm inside of this really crazy, super scary looking and haunted mental asylum. I'm not gonna say where this place is, but a lot of you guys might know where this place is. I've tried to get into this place five times without success in the last four years, but finally we have acquired permission to get inside this place and it's very, very creepy. And we're about to go and explore. I have Rennie, Angela, I have Carlo, and I have my friend Terry with me. We got a full crew in here. We're gonna be exploring this place. I'm super excited about it because a lot of you guys are from this area and know what this place is and have been wanting me to come inside this place smash the like button and let's continue on with this explore i've never been in here so i don't know what to expect let's go all right so we are starting off this adventure in the basement hello rennie hello angelo hello carlo all the way back there and terry's already gone somewhere else and uh keep in mind it's not nighttime but it looks like it because everything's so boarded up and creepy and scary in this place. I have been wanting to come here for so long, guys. I've tried so many times, never had any success until today. Whoa. So I'm guessing the basement is like the utility area. Dude, isn't this amazing? It really is, it's massive. There's so much to explore and there's so many other buildings that are abandoned on the property too. I don't know if there's anything left behind though. So, I mean, what you see is what you get, I guess. The reason, so the, this place here, I don't want to come here because of what's left behind. I want to come here because of the ghost activities. And I want to come here because it's been like an impossible place to get into. And you guys know I like a challenge. And uh, we managed to do that today, thank God. So this place is over 100 years old, probably 200 years old, something like that. Look at the staircase that goes upstairs. We're still inside the tunnels right now. Unbelievable. It's been a while since I've done an abandoned adventure like this. And uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Look at this elevator. Whoa. I dare you to step in it. This is the basement. <laughs> yeah, this, I mean, there could be another floor that goes down. Okay, come back, come back. I'm scared for you. Yeah, I'm scared for you. Come back. This place is epic, Carlo. Yes. We missed you. We haven't seen you in the videos in a long time. I know. You guys haven't seen Carlo in a while, so his link is down below. Go show him some love. That's all right. Man, I'm getting like, what's that movie called Shawshank Redemption? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting like vibes like that in these tunnels. Like from that movie, it's crazy. Oh, what up, Angela? This place is so cool. Dude, right? And it's only the basement. God, I'm getting like Shawshank Redemption movie right? vibes in here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this. Look at the, look at the door in here. Whoa. Yeah, it looks like cell. Damn, guys. Yeah, we got Terry over here. His link is down below. Go show Terry some love, guys. He made this happen as well today, so go show him some love down in the link below. I love the old school vibes of this place. Oof, what is this, a prison cell? So this was a psychiatric hospital back in the old days. How old is this place, guys? Like 200 years old? 1800, so it's probably about 1860, 1870, somewhere in there. Wow. 60s. Yeah. Damn. So it is really, really old. Say that again. So, like, this is a sister asylum. It was open the same time as Century Manor. You've been there. Yeah, that place is scary as hell. Yeah, so you'd see these rooms that prisoners would be in, and when they got... Prisoners or patients? I call them prisoners, because back then... They were prisoners. prisoners. Yeah. yeah. Feels like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, for punishments, they had all kinds of crazy stuff. One of them was called the Utica Crib. Basically, a wooden coffin. They would wrap you in wet towels, lock you inside for 8 to 12 hours at a time. And that was torture. 
Yeah, basically. Yeah. We, actually, we actually saw some of those. We didn't realize that we saw them, but when we went to Kings Park. Oh yeah. We had them there. They were like these big giant like crate looking Wood boxes, things. yeah. yeah. So sick they and twisted. There, that is so different. twisted, yeah. So I guess you would get cold in them with the water on you? Well, the theory was is that it would calm the patient and keep them to hold still. So, sure. so that, they weren't trying to bust not, out of the box. That definitely did not work. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap, that is scary. Jeez, all right, moving along. Let's see what else we can find. Are there any spirits in here? You guys are all enjoying this so far. Now, I need you guys to do me a big solid favor. The link for the merch store is down below, sergeantmerch.com. Guys, go kill it while you can. It's almost going to be all gone real soon. I know a lot of you guys are loving this new merch drop. Go get it while you can. It's simple. Link is down below. Get yourself some merch. And if you want to become an exclusive member on the Most RG app, feel free to do that as well. Thank you, by the way. What the hell is that? There's no way that was stuff left over. There's like teeth here. Yeah. Dental x-ray developer? So what, they were developing dentures for patients here? Or prisoners? That's what it looks like, yeah. Guys, look at this, this is so scary. So this has only been the basement and we found some cool things down here. Hopefully there's really cool things upstairs. What? There's a TV in there? Do they have Netflix? Hey, anybody want on Netflix and chill? Got a TV. Look at that, 1950s TV right here. Admiral. Whoa, that's so cool. Shout out to all the explorers that have tried to get to this place. This place has been impossible for so many years and uh, we've tried and tried and tried and every time we came it was unsuccessful, but finally we succeeded. I'm so happy about that. Yeah, this, this place is cool. It's really cool. It looks amazing on the outside and it looks amazing on the inside. I'll show you guys more of the outside later on throughout the day, but let's go upstairs right now and see what we can see up there. This must be the bathtubs that they would smother the patients in. Well, did you see the room full of the bathtubs? No, there's a room full of bathtubs. Damn, I'm moving too quickly through this place. So there's a room full of bathtubs here. Whoa, there's a table here. I wonder what they did here. Bread required. So this place hasn't suffered much damage from vandals. This is all natural decay and damage because no one's ever really been able to get in here. So a few people have in the past, but like not too many uh, vandals. So it's kind of good. All right, time to take the very unsafe stairs. One, one person at a time, boys. Oh my God. One person at a time. Jesus. That's how old this place is. It's falling apart. Where does this door go? I don't want to find out. Holy moly. Whoa. If you fall through the wood car, we'll catch you. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this place. This is honestly a treat to me right now. Like, I'll take this over any place because I've been wanting to come here for so long. We just gotta be very careful where we walk because the floors are not safe at all. Oh, that's another staircase that goes upstairs. All right, Rennie, stick with me. Just be careful where you go. Holy moly. I mean, other people have walked here. Look, you can see footprints. Whoa. Look at this door. Isn't that amazing? All right, so I switched cameras because my other camera for some reason was having trouble focusing. Don't know why. I'm not gonna lie. Whoa. I'm getting like some very beautiful vibes in this place. I mean, think it's about 160 how- 160 years old. Yeah, 160 years old. Look at these hallways, look at the walls. How insane is this? Oh my God, look at the ceilings. Look at the tiles on the ceilings. You don't usually see that. You, when you go to asylum, usually it's all falling off. You got an emblem right here. This place hasn't been vandalized. Yeah. Very soft. This looks like it was a classroom of some sort. Not 100% sure. There used to be a window here, I'm guessing. There's no window now. Man. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a ghost in here, because like... Guys, it's an asylum and it's very old. Imagine how much trauma must have happened in this place. I mean, yeah, Terry was saying they were wrapping people in like coffins and putting water on them and exactly. torturing. There's definitely some spirits in here. Let's go and see what's in this side of the hallway over here. So this place is the sister asylum of Century Manor. You guys know I've been to Century Manor twice in the past. That asylum is almost impossible to get into. Almost, you guys know we always find a way. The floor is very sketchy here. Whoa, camera's getting really blurry all of a sudden on you. Are any spirits here? Make a chandelier move or something. Damn, dude, the fact that the chandeliers are still hanging. 
Yeah, it's a cool wash one. Right, I'm eager to see what's inside. You good? Jay-Z tripped. I'm eager to see what's inside of all these other... Look at this, dude. There's like... This was definitely like a doctor's office. Just from the cabinets. Look at that retro door window. Look at that. Room one, number 125. Amazing. I doubt there's going to be anything left inside of these. Another staircase over here. There's a part where it's caved in here. Oh my god, my foot sank through Yeah, my foot went through the floor here. Do not come here. Don't, don't, don't. Oh no, no, I'm just gonna climb That middle one, look, it broke. I broke it. Yeah. Holy man. My so life. That's the trap on this side. So yeah, be I should have known that too because look at the way this building looks on this side. So let's stay away from here. We'll tell the other guys too. Alright, we're on the other side of the building now. A side that we haven't been to just yet. I'm surprised the lights are still inside. Yeah, like it doesn't have any destruction from humans. It's all natural decay. Look at how scary this is. I can't wait to see what else we find. Yeah. We're still more floors even still too. Hey, is that chandelier moving? I don't know. I thought it. I think it was just a light reflection. Yeah, probably, probably just light. Yeah. Whoa. Look at the arches over here. Holy moly. So the last time this place was used was in yeah. '91. There's a there's a really cool thing at the end of the hallway. Really cool thing. I wonder what that thing is. Yeah, this is definitely closed off because this. It's really unsafe to walk here. Yeah. My god, look at the arches. Did you guys see the ceilings? Yeah. Look at all the stuff all on there. Yeah. yeah. So cool. Yeah. So apparently there's something cool over here for me to look at. Yeah. I don't see anything cool. Angela, you said there's something cool here. Yeah. The arch? Right at the end. On right. Here? Oh. Oh my god, you're right. It's a payphone from back in the day. Whoa, five cents, ten cents, twenty-five cents. That's so cool. And there's a phone book too. I don't know what this thing is though. That? Yeah. That's an ashtray. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's an old ashtray. Back even yeah. right, back then. People, like stand here and smoke well long. back in the day people were allowed to smoke indoors. Yeah. I remember the times where people were allowed to smoke in airports, on airplanes. Crazy times. Yeah. So near the end of the video, we're gonna do the Necrophonic app in the basement. That's where all the patients or prisoners were tortured. So it's only fitting that we do the Necrophonic down there. All right guys, moving throughout the asylum. Hoping you guys are catching something in the distance, in the background, orbs. Make sure you comment them down below if you do. What is this? It's like a door. That's a stairs that goes upstairs. Oh, what the hell? This is must this have been like, shot? no, it's like some, Rigged up elevator shaft. Maybe laundry. Probably laundry, laundry or food. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this room. Are you telling me this is a, a patient's room or a prison cell? Go stand in it. Look how tiny it is. Just make sure the floor is safe. <laughs> there you go. Right? That's so tiny. Come in here and feel how much cold it is. Is it cold? Oh, why is it cold in here? It's very cold in here. That's strange. We're feeling some cold air. The windows are completely sealed and boarded up. It's 30 degrees Celsius outside. Yeah. That's hot. And I'm actually starting to get goosebumps. It's that cold in here. Yeah. It's getting hot now. That's weird. It went away. No, I'm cold. Really? I'm cold. Hmm. There could be something. I wish I had my K2 meter. Whoa, we're getting foggy all of a sudden. I'm going to try taking a couple photos in the dark. Flash photography? Not flash, but with the actual night vision on the okay. photo. So let's see if you capture. It's proven to be successful in the past. I've captured stuff. Let's give it a go. All right, so I'm going to take some photos. It's completely dark. Got night mode on on my cell phone, no flash. And uh, I'm going to take three photos, so hopefully that captures something. Man, if I see like a person standing there, <laughs> what's that flash? Oh, it's very flashless. Huh. Okay. So nothing, just our, just us. All right, let me take one in this room over here. And see if we get anything. Hopefully we do. It's happened to us before in the past that when we go to edit and post, then, then we notice some unusual things yeah, exactly. in the photos. That's why I tell my fans to always just look out. You never know what you find. Watch we don't notice it always. 
during the film. From the beginning to the end. Anything? No, nothing at all. Mm. I'm gonna try a couple of flash shots. All right, here we go, let's see. Did we capture anything? Nope. Nope. Wait, what's that? What do you see? It's very tiny, you can't even notice it, but if you zoom in, there's like an orb here on the ground. Oh yeah. But it it wasn't there. Actually. It's not there in all the other pictures. Hmm. Hmm. Take a few more. You guys know how much I love asylums and love pissing off demons. It's literally in my intro. <laughs> hey spirits, or demons, it's your boy, Mo Sarji. Wake your asses up, I wanna to talk to you. I wanna see you. I'm not getting that. Huh? Every time I step in into one of these rooms, yeah. it's like a change in temperature. It's really hot it's over here, dude. Warm here. I'm like sweating. As soon as you enter here, it's like there's a temperature change. Angelo, bring your K2 meter and come over here quickly. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting some strange, like cold. Tell me. Uh, actually, I'm not going to even tell you. Just walk into the room and tell me what you feel. Walk into the room. Just walk into this room. Yeah, walk into the room. Someone's approaching you. This actually went on. So, stop right there for a sec. Turn on your K2. Is it getting anything right there? I actually left my K2 it back is. in the car. Is it? Yeah, I have a little triple. Here, let me hold it for a sec. Let me see. Are there any spirits here? We felt your presence. It got really cold. Did it? Out of nowhere. And then Did it's you just. Did you see anything? And kind of. Go, go, go into the first room yeah, here. First one That's where really we felt it. In the first. Uh, yeah, here. like over here. That's where we felt the go cold gust of air. I wouldn't really call it a gust, but I it's not even felt gust. like it's the temperature, like temperature changed. And it's boiling outside, and it's boiling in here too, so it's strange. There's doctor's offices, there's like bedrooms, but I'm gonna call them prison cells, because that's pretty much what they are. What the hell, was this the morgue? Yeah. What the hell was this? Oh, yeah. Oh, it was the morgue. You think it could have been a morgue? Well, and they have to be like sink there. Yeah. It's also in the tiles around the edges. That's usually how morgues were back in the old days. Mm -hmm. Ceramic tiles and then so this actually could have been the morgue. Alright, switching back to wide lens because my other camera is dying somehow already. I just started using it and uh, the battery drained. I don't know how. It's a fully charged camera. So, could have been some sort of paranormal energy that drained it. Look at this, dude. Wow. Careful. I know this does not Careful. feel good at all. Oh yeah, look. Is it soft? No, it's not like the tiles though. We can, it will support our weight. No, wood is stronger than tile. Tile like, that was like vinyl tile too. I don't want to risk going through here though. I don't, did you guys walk through here? Uh, was it safe? Because it doesn't look safe. I don't know. Because look, some of the floor here is broken. So, like you can already see that there's a hole covered up by just a... Uh, yeah, there's a hole there. covered up over there, but I won't. Okay, let me walk, walk alone walk along for a sec. Yeah, let me walk. Wood. Yeah, this is plywood. Don't go on. I don't know, man. I want to go. Well, look, I see fresh footprints over there. Yeah, but you never know how heavy they were. Well, if you go through that floor, I'll just look at you on the phone and film. I don't want to go through the floor. That's the thing, though. Okay, I think it's safe. Oh, there's nothing. Oh, you know what this was? This was where they would put the patients to sit down. This is where all the patients would just chill in the sunlight area. Because back then they used to think sunlight would cure an insane person. But you know, obviously it was both. So we decided it would be fitting to try the necrophonic in here. Because this was the morgue. At least we believe it was. Hey, let's not all stand in the same spot. Let's social distance in here. And uh, just because the floor might break apart. You know what the first people to go stand in here? 
in this asylum. That's true. No one's ever ghost hunted yeah. in here. We're the first people. I just thought of that. Yeah. That's awesome. Probably in 160 years, boys. Yeah. I know. You just made this true. <laughs> All right, let's be the first people to use a necrophonic in here. Oh, yeah? Are there any spirits left behind in this morgue? We're the first people to try to communicate with any spirits in here. Scared. Why are you scared? Oh, oh that was almost a full sentence. That was like something to film. Something to film? I heard our attention. Whoa, whoa. I've never heard that before. My name is Mo Sarge and we're here to communicate with you. I have Angelo, I have Carlo, I have Renny, and I have Terry. Can you see us? Outside the room. I heard voices coming from the hallway. Well, it's possible. Could be spirits in here. I heard a voice saying, I'm scared. No, I heard that too. Yeah, you heard it? Microphonic? Yeah. I don't know what that sound was, but we're gonna make it up to the third floor because we haven't been there just yet. There's also another building on the property that looks a million times scarier. Than, well, I mean, this is a scary building. It just looks cool. It's a chapel and we wanna show it to you guys. So let's go upstairs, then back down to the basement, do some more necrophonic in the basement, and then try and figure out if we can get it to the chapel or not. I forgot to mention to you guys that these rooms here were where they would keep an observation on the patients, as you can see the glass. And when the doors are closed, and they have the patients inside. They can just easily come up and look at them. And yeah. Honestly, how are you supposed to keep your sanity in a room that small? Well, you know what's funny? Because a lot of people weren't actually insane too. A lot of these places were keeping people here, just doing testing on them. Like yeah. the, the places in Quebec, like the asylums, the orphanages that we went to in Quebec, they were doing a lot of testing on patients. And they come here normal, but they don't walk away normal. Yeah, and Angelo and I have actually captured ghost activity in those asylums. This is cool though, this Especially, is So this facility was known to be state of the art. So this is where they would have done like all the like really notorious experiments. Like lobotomies and stuff yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, around here I've read that they used to take the all alcoholics and all that and be like, oh yeah, you need to go here for treatment. Yeah, exactly. yeah and then they'd they come out crazy or never come out. Drugs would be tested Even on things as uh, simple as epilepsy, they thought that if you did a lobotomy, if you remove like a hemisphere of the brain, it would fix yeah. the issue, but the... Jesus. You basically destroy the individual by doing that. That is insane. Time to make it up to the third floor. Oh my god, the stairs. It's creaky, but I think it's safe. A little bit. I don't know for how much longer, but, you know, hopefully we get out of here safely. So this is the third floor. And it's hot as hell up here. Except right here. Really? I'm, I'm like suffocating in here already. It kind of looks like the downstairs area too. Oh, there is a breeze over here. <clears throat> That's weird. Oh, that breeze, for some reason that, <clears throat> for some reason that breeze just like took my breath. I'm like <clears throat> choking on something. You good? Yeah, I am choking too. That's weird. I know, I feel like I can't breathe all of a sudden. What's going on? Maybe just some toxins in the air? 
I'm gonna wait up downstairs, okay? Okay, don't really go too far. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna film up here quickly and get out. I don't, it feels very weird here. There's another floor? What? How? I thought it was only three floors. For some reason it says F U Harold. Who's Harold? F U Harold? Whoa. Dude, there was a fireplace in here. And the room is like completely obliterated. As you guys can see, the, the floor is non existent almost. But there is a fourth floor. I'm going to save that till the end. And this is why you got to be very careful where you walk. This place has seen better days. They actually tried to reinforce it. As you can see, there's newer wood there, but it was an unsuccessful attempt. All right, Ghost Squad. Hey, look at this. There's a water fountain. No water, though. I'm thirsty. I'm pretty sure this is a room that they would do like lobotomies and stuff in. Yeah, hey, we found a fourth floor. Yeah, look at that. They're you like see the lighting? Down by the outlet there, there's the old school uh, computer hookup. Oh, yeah. Hey. What the hell is that? Yeah. Something just moved over there. I caught the sound of that on camera. I did too. It, it came like from where that door, the far hydrant door is. Any animals in here? Oh, you're, you're not kidding, bro. They did lobotomies in here for sure. Is this another one? Yeah, there's another one. Okay, so there's two side by side. Yeah. So I heard a noise coming from this area. Uh, define okay. Questionable? It's, maybe. Just be very, very, very careful. This is another sitting area for the patients. Yeah, it's not worth it. Yeah, it's not worth it. The floor is not good. Oh man, look at this window. Yeah, I heard something. It's like something banged on the wall or something over here. There's another lobotomy room over here. Lobotomy is basically something they used to do on patients and they basically cut through their brains and trying to cure them of illnesses that they didn't have. So that's what a lobotomy room is. Carlo, are you okay? What happened? It's very soggy right here. Very soggy? I've already been there, it's kind of safe. Did you go up? Did you see the upstairs? Yeah, there's another stairs. We haven't been up there yet. Just be careful, don't go off on your own too far. Oh, look at this, dude. Look at these scratch marks. And they continue. You very well dried up blood too. Yeah. Looks like actual scratches in the paint. Oh, look, yeah. yeah. And look back there, there's more. Yeah. All five. Whoa. So we're in another wing of the building and uh, the floor is like, it doesn't feel safe for us to walk on here. It's come, kind of buckled from water. Look at that. Look at how high the hardwood has gone off the floor here. That's crazy. How come these ones were fenced off? I think, no, look, the rooms. I think these had like some of the more violent patients. Yeah, that's probably what it was. Yeah, yeah, because in case they throw like a chair at it or something. And even the windows have like um, railings on them, like metal. Okay, you guys, time to go to the fourth floor. And I bet it's gonna be kind of a little bit different because we thought this place was only a three story. And it comes with our very own Carlo. Look at that. Hey, there's a ladder. There's a ladder that goes. Oh, that's up to the roof. That's a go that goes to the roof of the elevator room. Oh my god, this ladder. this floor does not look safe at all. It's like completely destroyed. You have to walk on board. Oh my god. Did you walk on here? Yeah, I walked through it. Yeah. Can you go over there to the left? Yeah, you got some nice uh, sinks in there. Some nice sinks. So I'm risking my life for some sinks. But hey, you know what? This is what I do, guys. Risk my life to give you guys videos. Literally holding onto the wall. Oh, man. Whoa. What the hell? This definitely looks like an asylum from a movie. What is that? Okay, so I'm gonna walk very, very gently here. Carlos said he came in here and he found some really cool machinery. Whoa, what the hell is this? What on earth? I have no idea what this is, but it looks cool. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments below. What is this? What was its purpose? This place is super duper creepy. 
Yeah, there's a weird machine in there. I don't know what it is. Yeah, this floor does not feel safe at all. Hey, check this out. This is the room that Carlo was talking about, the sink room. So, I, I literally risked my life for a room with sinks inside. Pretty cool, right? It happens sometimes. But you know what? It's cool. It's all good. Look at the roof here, completely rotted out. Do you think it's safe to climb this ladder? Look at this. I mean, the ladder is fine. Oh, did you see the Yeah, the floors are. Way, yeah, the know. floors are. No, I'm not gonna go up there. Why don't you do that? You guys find the ladder in your hallway? I gotta remember that I have a baby girl on the way, and she's a month away, so I'd like to see my baby girl. I'm sorry, but you can't use that as an excuse. I mean, it is. It's a, yes, he can. This is the only. <laughs> this is the only time you can. This is right, the only time it applies. Yeah, after you, you that, get to see her, but after happens, happens. All right, let's make it back down to the basement. Use the necrophonic down there, and go to the other buildings. There are other abandoned buildings on the property. I'm going to show you guys what this place looks like from the outside. Let me just test the ladder. You're actually going to try? Alright, I mean, you don't have a baby on the way, so... I don't. You've I lived don't. a good life with Mo Sarji. That's right. Holding my bags for me. But you do realize that the ladder falls, so which way it's going to fall <laughs> on you. No, it's not going to fall. It's not going to fall. It's supported by a concrete yeah. beam over there. No, it's not. No, no, it is. It really is. Let me, know, let me know if there's anything up there. If so, I'll actually risk it all to go up there. By the way, ladies, Rennie's single. Available every Thursday and single. Sunday. Single and ready to mingle. Single and ready to mingle. <laughs> But he's unfortunately taken by Carlo for now. Yeah. <laughs> tilt him How does it look up there? There's a room up here. No. What? Yeah. It's probably the elevator room. Yeah, no, it's just the utility room. Yeah, uh, it's not worth it then. Come back down. Yeah. Dude, I can't believe it had a fourth floor. Now we're going to make it down to the basement. Look at that old alarm system up there. So this is the third floor. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, what the oh, f***? What in the actual f*** is happening right now? Got a Dude, look how far away here. Stay here, hold the camera. Yeah, yeah. Show them how high it is. Dude, there's a cold, there's a cold like presence over here. Yeah. Look where, how high it is. I don't want that falling on. Why is that moving though? Do you think us walking upstairs caused it to move? Check, check the room. Check the room. Is there anything in the room behind you guys? Oh, I'm getting something on the K2 right here. It just spiked for a little second. Yeah, it spiked up to red right underneath it. Carlo, look at this thing. The chandelier. Do you not feel the little coldness of yeah, it? I feel it. Look at the chandelier, guys. Cool. Well, I feel the cold breeze, yeah. It was like a, 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 we came out, we came down from the stairs and we came out here and this thing was moving. And then I used the K2 and the K2 spiked up to red. And then he heard or seen something walking down that way. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's still swinging. Do you think our movement up there caused that? Oh, it is possible. But no, once no, we were really like moving yeah, around hard. I can't we know. Yeah. I still feel a cool breeze. Right yeah, there's it's a it's cool game. breeze over here. And I noticed it's it, it's the boiling. windows are all boarded. Yeah. So it's not like it's coming from outside. And it's boiling in here. Like you would notice a mm -hmm. cool breeze right away. It was moving more violently when we came downstairs, though. So. Yeah, you definitely feel a difference between that room and this room, and especially upstairs. So I'm getting nothing now, but when we first came under here, it was it was spiking to red. Man, that's scary. I really want to know what the hell caused that to move. There's no way that it was wind. There's no wind in here. No. no. And we were upstairs, and we came down. It might be our movement up there, but you'd have to be jumping really We weren't hard. jumping, we were even, walking. No, but even then you would get like a minuscule mm -hmm. amount of movement. There's no way. Like, it's not like the, the pipe up there is loose. Look at that. Oh, I see. You know what I mean? The pipe is completely solid up there. Yeah. That is so cool. Holy moly. I want to get out of here now. <laughs> Any more moving? Not that one. I thought this one was moving, but it's right light reflection. Well, this one's not moving either. Okay. Let's go down to this one. Necrophonic? Yeah, we'll do the necrophonic oh. in the basement. <sighs> this guy. Can't take this guy anywhere. <laughs> Alright, you guys, we are back down to the basement now. And the reason why I want to try the necrophonic is, is because they did torture people here. And I'd really, really love 
to see if we get anything on the K2 and the necrophonic down here. We're gonna go to the rooms where they have those Utica cribs. I think that's what they're called. They're basically where they wrap the patients in wet wraps and they sealed them in a coffin, apparently. To, to try to calm them down. But wow. it was a form of torture. Uh, so I've never heard of torture that calm people down. Yeah. And uh, that's where we're gonna do the necrophonic in there because we believe that we are gonna get something in there. So let's go. This is the dental room right here. Yeah. Oh, Dental slash torture room. Pot. Maybe the room with the bathtubs we should try. Oh, right. oh yeah, yeah, we could do that. Yeah. yeah. Something could have like attached itself to the, the bathtub. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Is it here? Uh, no, it's behind. It's Up down that way. Yeah, this, yeah, this way. I think it's one more over. No, yeah. a little bit. There it is. This could have been a more too. Yeah. yeah. Very well could have been. Oh, it is going it's on. It's still here. It's going on to the Turn off the light. Let's see the lights. Yeah. Turn off my light, too. Yeah. Oops, I took off your bed. <laughs> there you go. Are there any spirits in this room? Oh, what? Uh -huh. And do you want to communicate with us on a necrophonic if we try to talk to you? Give us a yellow or a red. Any spirits that want to talk to us? We're here to communicate with you. Did anything sinister happen in here? Sorry. Did they torture you down here? What's oh, responding? Nice. Oh, See that one? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna put on a light. Let's have a minimal light. Yeah. So we're in the basement and we believe this is where most of the torture took place in here. Can you confirm that? Basement. Yeah. No. No. I heard that. No. F there. Basement there. Yeah. Were you so like right where we are then? <laughs> this room? Yes or no? Dude, they did say this room. This room. Basement. How many of you were tortured down here? <laughs> we're here to communicate with you. Were you drowned down here? What, are these, what were these bathtubs for? What were these bathtubs used for? City? Were they a form of torture? We already know you're here. You told us you're in the basement. Do you have a name? Tom? Was that a Tom? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna shut off the light. Yeah. Maybe we'll get a response. Yeah, turn off your lights, guys. Let's do this in the dark. Keep that K2 in sight so we can see it. Okay, we've turned off all the lights. You might be scared of the lights. Mo. Uh, okay. Well, uh, how do you know my name? Cedric. True. Are you watching us right now in the dark? Whoa. <laughs> dental. It's a dental room. Dental? Dental room. The dental room's right next door. Do you want us to go to the dental room? Did they torture you in the dental room? Here. Here. They tortured you here. What well, what about the dental room? Yes, of course. Yes. Room. This room. I said this room. This room, yeah. yeah. Okay. Room. How many of you are standing beside me right now? Six. Six. Four, four. Can you confirm that there's six here? How many of us are standing with cameras? Did my EMS scan? Yeah, it did. It's lighting up a little bit. Are you here in this corner? 
Yep. We hear your voices, but we, we don't know your names. We're lobotomies done here. But what's touching my back? Oh my god. Something just cut, literally touched my back. It's like it was lifting my shirt. Yeah. Ooh, that was weird. The EMF started going to yell the second you said that. Did you touch my back? Were you stuck in a box here and tortured with water? Why was that happened to you? Why did they do that to you? Did it scare you when they stuck you in a box? This day too is going crazy. Show me the K2 angle. That's lighting up a little bit. Yeah, look at that. I see it. Going yeah, up the right. I see it. Are you innocent? Are you stuck in our realm and you can't move on? Do you want us to read you a prayer? Did I smell that? It's like a strange odor all of a sudden. Is that you that's standing beside us? Are you sitting or are you standing? What do you look like? I actually, huh? I actually smell that too. All right, it just got away. Are you causing this really, really terrible smell? Carlo? Where's Carlo? But it sounds like the gravel in this room. Oh, Carlo's here. In this corner. Something big growled. It sounds like growled over there. Did you growl? Does that mean they just growled at us? What's up with this weird noise? Are you trying to talk to us again? Whoa. It's like interference. I'm gonna try the dead wave. Alright, so we're about to use a different app called the Dead Wave app. For those of you that are interested in using the Necrophonic, I have a link to it down in the description, so you guys can download it from there. So let's go ahead and use the Dead Wave. Was that you that was making the sounds in the corner? We heard something growl in here. Was that you? I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting really dizzy down here. Mm. That yeah. smell that came out. I've been dizzy right for here. a while. How come, how come you're not talking to us? I still smell that smell though. What is it though? I don't know, I can't even it wasn't tell what before. it is. When we came into the room, that smell wasn't here. No. So we believe that the smell is you guys. That We can't see you, you can see us, but you guys probably smell. Is that you? Is it the smell of death? Maybe it's the smell of like brimstone, which is like hell? Kind of smells sulfury. Right? Well, that's just an excessive. The smell of hell. That's yeah. scary. It's like sulfur, right? I don't know what the smell of hell is. I'm sure it's not pleasant. <laughs> no, but that smell. Well, this is smell like... isn't pleasant either. Yeah, so. it's not like a sulfuric dead smell. Which would be is, is brimstone, which resembles death and hell. So we're not getting anything off the dead no. wave. Well, I just saw your uh, K2 yeah, go off. I saw that go off too. Like I said, if you guys want a necrophonic. Yo, account. yo, your 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 camera is auto focusing here. Yeah, something in the corner here. It's trying to focus on something here. Can you make something move or fall off or flip over or break? Oh, swerving. 
You know when you touch the screen and it tries to autofocus? Yeah. I wonder if there's water in here. It keeps moving. Can you see? Yo, yo, look. It's so leading us outside the room. But the thing is, there's it's going to go to the dental room. Dude, the necrophonic did mention dental. Yo, yo, it keeps autofocusing. Let's go to the dental room. You're even in the screen right now and it's not auto focusing on you. Really? Yeah. This room scared the shit out of me for a second. I thought I seen a shadow in here. Okay, let's go, let's go into the Wait. Oh, wow, my hand's no, on. No, it stopped. Bro, the second I came in here, my hand started to get. It me. stopped. I got this strange, numb feeling. Oh. Wait, yeah, you didn't see that? I did not see that. So when I got in here, my hand started to get this very strange, numb feeling. I'm telling you, we're going to get something on the necrophonic in this room. I'm going to stand right here in the middle of it. That is just gross. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty weird. Like, you yeah. see this off? Look, Andrew, you see how it's auto-focusing on his face right now? Yeah. Even when he was in the frame before, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was just like to the side of the screen was leading us away. That's so weird. If you can see us, can you tell us what room we're standing in now? Guys, yeah. mm -hmm. please tell me you caught something behind me just now. No. Because something tapped my finger. I thought it touched this, but no. It's ho I'm higher than this thing. I didn't see anything. Did you just touch my shoulder? I heard yeah. What the f***? Why'd you touch my shoulder? Was it like a touch? Does it hurt? No, it's just like a, a gentle touch. You told us something about the dental room earlier. Is this the room that you're referring to? What took place in this room? What is this? What is that? Oh, it's, it's, it's cotton. Look at that. This, oh, do you know what these are? No. Tampons. No. <laughs> Bro, they would put those in your holes when you yeah. die. So you don't leak fluids. Oh, that's so f Weird. That's what those are for. What, what are these fluids anyways? I didn't even really That's so uh, nasty. Wait, you said something touched your shoulder? Yeah. What? <laughs> Look at his shoulder. Yo, 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 pull down your shirt a little bit. What? Your right side. Pull your shirt down a little bit. Whoa, what is that? What's going on? Well, oh my like god, you have a shirt. mark. I don't feel anything. You see it too? Yeah. You can see no, it. I can see it perfectly on There's the camera. You got like bruising. Yeah. For real? Yeah, you got... Bad, dude. It doesn't hurt at all? No. I don't feel anything. Yo, I'm good. Okay, just look at the footage right now so you can let, see for yourself. Let me just see, turn the screen to me. I've been scratched before, but I've always right felt... <gasps> what? Right? Okay, that's weird. because there's nothing there before. No, I did not feel that. Now that I touch it, it does kind of hurt a little bit, but that wasn't there before. But I, I, it, it yeah, was you said gentle. something touched your shoulder. It was yeah. a gentle touch. It was a gentle touch, nothing scary. All right, time for All right, let's get out of here. So we're outside of the building right now, you guys, and uh, I just made a very startling discovery. If you guys can see inside of this hole, um, we need to rescue a friend of ours. I made a friend down there, look at that. There's a bunny rabbit stuck in this hole. He fell in. I guess he fell in, there he is, and he can't get out. But I won't be, if I climb down there, I won't be able to get him out or get myself out. So I don't know what the hell we're gonna do. Unless I go down there and I throw him up to you guys. Yeah, but you can't get out. I know. I mean, I could probably, does anybody have rope? No. No one's got rope on them? Oh, I need to help this bunny rabbit, man. How far of a drop is that? So there's a pipe that I can technically stand on. Look at that, he's, he's, hey, Mr. Bunny. Maybe the problem is, if you step to that one and into that one, can you reach here and pull yourself up? So I'm worried if I go down there, he's gonna run into that pipe and it's gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be stuck. There's a pipe down there, maybe he came through it. No. Because if he was, if he was, if he went through it, he would've went in right now. He, that's scared? a big bunny, it's scared. scared. He knows he, can, he dropped in. He's just shaking. I can actually get out. I can get out if I go in. I'm gonna go in. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm gonna go in. So this is turning into a, I'm gonna go down there. I can go down there and come back up. You think so? I, I feel like I can climb back up. There's a We've ledge. Been looking for two by four. Well, look, three. there's a pipe. There's a pipe, and then there's a ledge I can hold on to. All right, Operation Rescue. What's his name? Uh, Bugs Bunny. Yeah. In full effect right now. All right, Mr. Bunny Rabbit. I'm coming. Please. He's so scared. Yeah. You can tell. 
Well, yeah, now he sees this giant thing coming down towards him. He's backed into a corner. Is there somewhere to actually, like... Alright, guys. Rescue right. mission 101 is happening. Hi. Oh, <laughs> he is so cute. Hi. He's terrified. Yeah, yeah he I is. can definitely get back out of here. Yeah. yeah. So happy we made this decision. All right, come on. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Somebody want to grab the Okay. Yeah. You're going to be able to grab him? Yeah. yeah. I don't want to bite or nothing, so. Let's see, Terry. Hold, hold him when I get up there, okay? I want to yeah, meet he's good, him. he's good. Oh, his ass is all bleeding. Oh. Is he bleeding? So, yeah. He hurt himself? Hurt himself. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna come back up. Please. I don't see any blood. Poor hey buddy. guy. His ass is cut. I just saw it. Yeah. It's completely. Hey, cut. buddy. Oh, you're okay. Oh my God. There's spiders everywhere down here. Oh, you're okay. <laughs> oh, you're okay. Poor guy. All right. Keep holding him with that. Two hands just taste. Okay, guys, move back. A He's bit. weak. Yeah. He's not going anywhere. Oh. I'm gonna name you Mo Sargi. That's your name. He's really All thin right. and weak. Right. Look at his booty. Oh, oh no. Yeah, no. yeah he, he fell he fell pretty pipe. hard. Okay, you can go. You can go, baby. Come on. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, he's, I think he's too hurt. Uh he'll I think I don't know. Hi! <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. Oh I'm so happy we did that. There you go. Don't fall in again. This is what he, he fell in. He goes right back to yeah. <laughs> Oh man. <sighs> that was crazy. Good deed accomplished. All right, so that was cool. We rescued the bunny. We explored this super scary looking asylum. I'm gonna show it to you guys on the outside. I'm actually gonna fly the drone. There's an abandoned chapel on the property as one that I wanna show to you guys too. So as I said, there's another abandoned building and actually where the patients used to sleep. Some patients would sleep in that building and then the main building where we were over there. But there's a really cool looking chapel over here. If you guys can see that, look at that. I've been wanting to come in here for years. I really hope there's a way to get in. As you guys can see, the church or chapel is completely overgrown. Can't find any ways to get in. It's completely boarded up. It's overgrown. And uh, I'm just happy we managed to get into the, the other building. All right, guys, now that we're outside, we actually found another building that we didn't even know existed. We've actually never seen it because every time we've come out here, we focus on the main building, which is the one that, you know, we were filming earlier. But this right here apparently is where the nuts, I was going to say students, but the orphans, or not even orphans, the mental patients would sleep. Their older dorms were here. So we've never seen what's inside this building. We've never gotten a, a picture of it. So I don't know what to expect. I don't even know if we can get in here. Oh, 